Okay, so um, tell us who you are and, and where we are and, and what, what you're all about. Well, I'm going to let Lynn go first because Lynn is so much better looking and older than I am that you always, you know, you always bow to, to the presence. But you already went first. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Walter, good being here with you. Well, it's good seeing you. Yeah. This is the first time I've seen your book. It is wonderful. God, well, thank you amazing. so much, and the money will be in the mail for this <laughs> plug. I love it. Yeah. But I was just looking at it briefly, and it's uh, actually three parts of the three major things that you work in. Uh, sculpturing with coins, which is yes, wonderful. interesting, and uh, your paintings. And then your graphics. Yes. So and I when I keep in mind that the reason that this book was published at all mm -hmm. is because I sat down there and I bought the very first of your books. That's right, you did. I did, and that was the deal for me to buy it. And if you didn't give me the first one, I didn't want one. Now, you've issued out 14 other firsts I've seen, but that's okay. <laughs> But, uh, and these are both self-published books. Oh, and by the way, I'm Lynn Slesick. And, and I will show them the book. the book. I mean, this is absolutely marvelous. Look at that. The book. Yeah. And, and tell us about this book and how you went about publishing your work in this format. Okay, it's a book with 60 paintings of Paladuro Canyon. And the bulk are visual, but in the back there are about a dozen uh, contemporary, my feelings of the canyon. And uh, I tried to get it published through different sources and ended up self-publishing the book. Found out that was probably the best way to go and uh, really worked out very, very well. One of the things that's interesting about Lynn's book is you look through there, it goes in the private collection of somebody and then in the private collection of somebody else. And, and I'm saying somebody because, you know, these are really somebody's, but I don't want them to get the big head because they've got <laughs> Lynn's books. And, I mean, Lynn's... Well, I, did you ever give them a book for spending all that money with you? Give who a book? The people who bought your artwork. Uh, some of them. Well, see, that's so nice. See, yeah. So instead of, see, if I'd have gotten a free book, if I'd have sat down there and bought one of his paintings, that's what the, that's what the yeah. deal is. Now, the people who were in the book as owning paintings... No, because they were before I had the book oh, published. The, the, the four but book, then, the, the kind four of book published. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it was a lot of fun, a lot of work. And as you mentioned a little earlier, when you get to the end, God, I'm so glad this is finished. <laughs> I think you coined a new phrase. It's called BBP, before book publishing. Oh, and so nice. now, see, we're setting a new trend. Now, let me let me tell you about this book. Now, this, this was done a little differently. Now, this... This book right here is The Art of Walter Wolfram. Now, I did this over the web because I'm a lot, you know, I am not as, I am not as well established as Lynn, so uh, I have to sit down there and do it on the cheap. Now, if you'll notice, these two covers look differently, but now this web published book is, you don't get to talk to anybody. It is, thou shalt go on the internet, you are subject to the internet, you will bow to the internet, you will, you will do everything on the internet. We do not want to talk to you except to get your credit card number to get this book to you. <laughs> Other than that, that's about what that works. But it's been a fun experience, and the thing that I've learned on this, on this publishing of this is the size of the files are absolutely huge to do the artwork. Now, it was like 532 megabytes mm -hmm. to try to transmit <clears throat> over the Internet, and you don't just transmit that kind of file space over the Internet without the Internet themselves breaking it up and creating you a lot of problems. Uh, they've solved that just a little bit in that they've created a server that you drop this huge file to, but it takes five or six times to send it before it'll even pick it up and, and get it. So it's been... Uh, been trying. I used to, uh, you know, I'm only 23 years old, and then when I started this thing, I'm sorry, and <laughs> so you can see what happens to people when you get on this internet book. Deal. But it's, it's it's a fun it's a fun it was a fun project, and a guy by the name of David Corbin, who's uh, at that is at Art Gecko here at Sunset Center, was kind enough to do all the photographs for me, and I say kind enough, he got money for it, but that's okay, and. Uh, but he did a great job, and he was very, very reasonable, and, and he's, he's, a, he's a good friend of mine, and, and, and 
He's got credit for it. Now, you should have seen him. I, I, I gave him the book sheet that says, Photographed by David Corbin, Art Gecko, Emerald, Texas. Now, he got a, he got a front page byline. <laughs> and I'm telling you, the boy, the boy nearly had to sit down there and slice his lips to get him where he could grin further than what he was when he got the book. But anyway, it was, that, I'm telling you, that in itself was, was worth publishing the book because it was absolutely fun and it was just great to do.